Welcome back to Princess Peach Showtime! I like the little shimmy she does, just doing her idle animation, like, hup, hup, Showtime! Alright, we got two more floors left here. Investigate. Detective and sword. So why don't we go with detective first? Go to the other side of the badge here. It's time to solve a crime. You ready to solve some crimes? I'm ready to solve some crimes, Detective UDJ. Do you think you're ready to solve some crimes? Ultra Detective Jester is here! That means you're looking for crimes, which means that you're a criminal. You can't be looking for crimes. Crimes come to you. Hmm. What if I accidentally walk into a crime scene? Well then... And I'm the detective. That makes you a first responder, then. Ah, I can be a first responder. Aww. Everyone here looks scared! We in Jack the Ripper territory? <laughs> Uh-oh. Balmy London Tan. There's an alleyway back here. It's easy to miss. What? I lost my ticket! Oh. Well, one, two, three. Three. Be happy? There, there, oh, there's the ticket. There, there, there it is. Dress ribbon. Wow, that actually is kind of hard to see. Oh my god. Just gotta keep an eye out. You know, hitting up the back streets. Leave me be! Oh no! <laughs> oh, oh wait, it's just hooliganism. A mugging. Hey, hey, don't no, mug. No Stop mug. Stop stealing. D you just stole their money. You're as much <laughs> of a mugger as they are. It's payment. It's oh, that's it's, right. It's, it's, it, it's a bribe, so look the other way, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll give you this money if you don't say we robbed this guy. Keep an eye out for the second gem. It's really hard to find. Nailed it. Got it. You know, next time one of those guys dances, stand next to them. I think Peach joins in on the dancing. <laughs> That's so adorable. A threat? You know how we were like, what? you know, good phantom thieves in the in the previous episode? Yes. Well, now we got like bad phantom thieves coming to do bad stuff. They, they, they like steal and do bad things. See, I kind of love the uh, Sherlock Holmes and uh, beautiful thief uh, dynamic. She's just like, I can't do this on my own! I am unable to get- Cheer up, man, come on. Alright, now watch her dance. You just need a new plan. You gotta- you just gotta re- you gotta redo your thinking, that's all. Yeah. That's all you gotta do. You look like you're good at sleuthing, ma'am. Oh, hold on, I need to get my payment. Got, I gotta get some coinage first. Mm -hmm. There you go. Cash money. Oh, she is! That's adorable. Quick, in here. Right, in here. Time to become super spy. I wonder what the code is. Well, it's probably a star, bolt, cloud, sun. Those are my favorite marshmallows in Lucky Charms. Heart stars, clovers. Uh, Wait. something in blue. Clovers and blue moons. Heart, heart stars, horseshoes, clovers, clovers and, and blue moons. moons. Pots of gold and rainbows, rainbows and the red balloons. And the red balloons. That's me lucky charms! But this is no time for serial, this is time for sleuthing! We're chasing down a serial killer. No, wait, no, not in this game. Uh, a serial... Uh, robber? J j just a thief, really. A thief, okay. Well, we can deal with that. Robbery's better than, like, you know, uh... What they tackle on Law and Order SVU. You know, Real crazy sons of guns. Oh, she looks so cute. We're Sherlock Holmes, not Sergeant Benson here, okay? You know, some, uh, somebody brought this up on a Twitter post. They were looking at all of Peach's fashion. Mm -hmm. She really went fashionista in the Switch era, starting with Mario Odyssey. Yeah, she did. So I'm, I'm just loving this. Slay Queen, please. <gasps> Uh-oh! <laughs> So the way a uh, detective works is that you can hold B to intuit some clues. <laughs> Immediately goes for the ponder chin. Hmm. So you can basically go around and find stuff that can be intuited. And then you basically have a strike of intuition. And if you're right, you move on. And if you're wrong, you lose a heart. Oh, she's got the finger! Gotta have the finger! It's you! Mm-hmm. Dang! Alright, so what about that ransom note on the floor? It's, it's just his note saying, Oh, you better find me! No, I'm okay, hiding okay. in the couch! <laughs> Did you ever do couch forts when you were a kid? Oh, hell yeah. Yes! Okay. 
You can't find me. I'm in the fortress of Sofitude. <laughs> I don't think I ever realized you have to be in costume in order to do these platforms. Is that correct? So, uh, some of them. Okay. Hmm. Sleuth it. Oops, oops, oops. Sorry. Yeah. Strike it with yeah. intuition. Into it. <gasps> Got it. Uh -huh. I give up. Okay. Aha! Yeah. It was you. Damn. You're the one who kidnapped those girls. Yes. It, the box. Ha ha! Oh dear. This might be a bit above our pay grade. All right, in we go. I'm the detective here. I'll make sure that nothing happens. I can do it. Oh, yeah, that's a lovely little museum we got going on here. Yeah. Lots of nice artifacts. Everything in order. Very, very high hmm. security detail. And there's the warning that we got. I'm going to steal this. Oh! They are! We go bankrupt! Oh dear. And Whack! so they're here. No! no! The mural! Right under our noses! Our big fat glowing noses! How on earth did... Yeah, hey, wait a minute. They didn't have, like, flashlights for noses? Well, all right. Quickly. Let's move. <laughs> this way. Hey, what the hell? Nobody leaves. That seems suspicioso! Uh -huh. You! <laughs> the painting just goes... Ah! So there was a way in here that people didn't account for. It looks like this place has been moved. Perfect. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> I like our little junior detective guy. Wait! Filthy feet on these bandits. You're Sheesh. kidding. Oh. I stole a couple of massive disguise that can turn you into anybody. Really? Hmm. So in the next room, we got two thieves that are disguising themselves. Sounds like a mystery for us to solve. I think we can handle it. Got a key over here. Oh god, a spade key. Alright, let's find the three other suits and get through Raccoon Police Department. Got another key right over there, but a little flyby of the area. Uh... Two people in this room are imposters. Who could they be? Ah. Hmm. On it. I'll find them! Alright, we need this other key, though. I'm guessing follow footprints, possibly? Talk to people, you can hear certain clues here and there. But the most important thing to do first is, well, first here. Ta da! <laughs> did I ever tell you I did a Sherlock Holmes escape room? How'd it go? Uh, we passed with two minutes left, and uh, we were very close to getting the secret ending. Oh! There was a. There was uh, two ways to finish the escape room, and. Uh, it was uh, me and my youngest sister, and we were both like, all right, deduction time, and then we were <laughs> just running all over the room. It was fun. Uh, that mummy is shaking. So the spade key goes in here. Dang. But then you. Diamond key goes in here. You, what do you get? It, oh. Hello. Yeah, I don't trust you. He's, a, he's actually a cop. Mm. Which means that somebody who is one of the imposters is a cop, and uh, it's this guy. Gee, I wonder. Uh, but how did you find me out? I looked online! No! I read the script! <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Yeah, why would an officer have a camera? Exactly. Take him away, boys. 
Take him out back, boys. No, no, no. B downtown. Yeah, this is Chicago in the 50s. He's getting shot as soon as he comes out there. Fuck! Ooh, I do like the popcorn. The second guy's right here. He doesn't have his glasses. There's only two statues. One of these statues is fake. Which one? That one there. Oh. Really? I didn't know that. Do you talk to the NPCs and they just go, Oh, hey, yeah, there's you, only two. You, you figure it out, but or you could just, you know, know. Knowing helps. Well, how do you know? You need to ask some intuition in order to find it out. Better question, how do you not know? It, hmm. Am I an imposter? Got a question for that smart guy? Eh? I think eh? I might be eh? an imposter. Hmm. Tell the truth! <laughs> oh my god. Tell us where the mural is! He's doing the bad cop, bad cop method. It, hmm. So the mural is still here. They haven't taken it out yet. I wonder if it's a fake wall. It looks pretty real to me. Have we tried knocking on it? Hmm. Alright, here's what you do. Run over here. Talk to this guy over here. <laughs> you take this. <laughs> run over here to the window. To the wall? Okay, come on. Can you just. Come on. Maybe, Boy. maybe observe there. Yeah, there you yeah, go. So the, the spot where I'm supposed to put it, not because I'm supposed to put the stool here so we can examine the window, right? Yeah. And. Intuition! Oh, hey! Look at that! It wasn't a fake wall at all. Oh it my was God. just a curtain! Way! Gotcha! Uh! Wow, they did kind of a terrible job trying to steal this thing. These guys aren't very smart. We'll just put a curtain over it, they'll never know. Are you kidding? Uh, art, art heists are expensive. No, oh, that is true. Oh no! I thought the plan was foolproof to just leave it here! <laughs> the crane missed their clocking time by five hours! They were supposed to be here before we did the thing and it didn't work. Case closed. You're all going to prison. Thank you so much. For, well, I guess disturbing the peace, public menacing. Did she pull an accent? Not really. Oh. Thank you very much. Oh, that was me. It's just that she she's going a bit of a lower registry, like you know, it's like thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Like a true detective. A bit more main character-y, if you know what I mean. Yes. Or maybe the crown adds an octave to your voice. I concur. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Right, one more room left. Such a brilliant actress she is, able to put these characters on with every play she goes into and then immediately drop the facade. It's like I say, she's the world's greatest understudy. <laughs> All right, the ghostly castle, sword two. Yeah, sword part two. All right, ooh, got some heebie-jeebies, some jeebie heebies, creepy ghosties, ghosty creepies. Ah! Scary scares, yelly yells, and horror horror terror terror. Zoinks, zoinks, yikes, and jinkies. Oh my god, I don't think I'll be able to handle this. I never play horror games. We're gonna push that E10 horror rating as far as we can. <laughs> you just come up on stage, there's a dead body in front of you. De <laughs> oh! Dead body, that's actually a sack of potatoes leaking tomato sauce, you betcha! That's right, that's that E10 mindset. So you were already a sword fighter in the later plays. I like it, you're just continuing the story. Yes, it is act two after all. Mm -hmm. See, this is when the music ramps up and you know you get to meet your main villain. Then you talk oh, him down. Oh! oh. Well, that's not good. All right, slash them out of the air. Oh no, I will have to kill my brethren to set them free. Uh, Wait, no, let's talk about this. Actual ghost. 
Yeah. No! Oh, All right. If you want to play that way, straight to the dungeon. You guys tried breaking out. I mean, that could, that, that, that could help. They're not that. equipped for it, all right? They got big noses and they can't do anything else. They're trying, man. They're trying. Get the fuck, get the fuck, out. Get the fuck out of here. All right. Peach has the power to slash ectoplasm? I guess so. What the hell? She's got one of those uh, enchanted swords. I guess. They can kill ghosties. What's that thing made of? I kind of want one. Gimme. Hey, hey. Gimme. I won't hurt you. I will hurt you. Perish. There's not a sparkle gem in here just for coins. You know, she actually pulls off the musketeer look very well. She pulls off a lot of things really well in this game. I concur. Now kill the evil villains. With pleasure and with extreme prejudice. Banish their souls to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> I, don't, no, I don't feel so good, sword fighter. Oh no! I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, answer me this. How did such a it actually like dramatic scene turn into such a meme? <laughs> I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Because it would have been heartbreaking, but we have to give it a bit of comedy to give it that levity. But the thing is, it wasn't meant to be comedic. The internet turned it comedic. Well, yeah, to to soften the blow on the on the on to the fact on, that on the that's yeah, yeah, that's very tragic. Good lord, that is such a good effect. You would actually see that on the theater. How did they do that? That's so cool. So it's a theater game. I told you. I freaking love it. Ooh, I just noticed you get less sparkle gems this time around. Yep, there's only seven this time. And that's a projection because... Oh, that's yeah, so cool. Yeah, run, run, run. please run. Please run One, again. Two, oh. Buckle my shoe. Three. Four, five, six, oh, seven, eight. Nailed it. There we go. Oh. Let's see how you deal with this. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. Ooh, I see him, I see him. There, there you go, go, buddy. There you go, buddy. Ooh, that looks different from our normal uh, ribbon. Yep. Hmm. I wonder why that is. No explanation, just a, oh yeah. Hey, uh, can somebody tell our understudy that uh, she's slashing uh, the curtains? <laughs> oh no! How could you? there's holes? They're gonna see every there's light shining through. You uh, you're fired. You get one of those directors that just like if anything goes wrong, it's like you <laughs> ruined my art. Calm down, it's fine, dude. It's not, it's not you. Phew. Oh, these are missable, aren't they? Eh, oh, oh. And... Ain't nothing to it. Nope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, this is nice. Ah, that's lovely. Back into the main hall. You are going to perish for your crimes against theater dumb. For great justice. Wait, what? Oh, that's so cool. No, no. You're not gonna phantom get in your way out of this one, buddy. Oh, that's so cool. You know, I don't think the theater patrons whoa, actually whoa. thought they were gonna have this much of an inclusion in all the performances. I'm loving how the health is presented by the candles on the wall. That's some detail. Ow. There you go. 
All right, bring it on, bring it on. Nailed it. <laughs> Excellent. What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do about that? What you gonna do? Sit. M many bats. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, sending all the bats. If anybody else wanted some bats, there are no more. There are no more bats. Oh, I guess the all candles. All the bats will be used in perpetuity. I guess the candles don't represent the health. Oh shit! Come on. Why did not the counter work? Damn it! Why did not the counter work? Do it for real. Let's go. This way. There we go. And out of here. I'm sorry you've been touched by the spirit of the of the, of the evil ghost knight. There is no saving your souls. You have to die now. But princess, I feel fast. <laughs> like that. Thank you very much. Applause all around. Applause, applause. The applause, sword fighter in each because she cut that applause, ghost up and she applause, saved the people of the theater. Hey. Oh, that was a stellar ribbon. What on earth does that mean? That means that Stella gets a ribbon now too. Yay! I think we should dress up Stella. She needs something else. Well, before then, this time and this time only, we're gonna figure out what the basement means. Uh, a what? So, like I said, every transformation has three acts to it. We just did the second of the swords. So with that, we have unlocked the boss to the second floor. But the game's like, Hey, we didn't find the sword fighter sparkler, you know, the one who's really supposed to be the actor here, but everything's all fine there. And then we unlock the power of sparkler. There's something calling to us. Huh. I just had a heart attack. <laughs> that belonged to the sword fighter sparkler. Oh, entrusted with starring roles. You're gonna make it in this town anyway, Peach. You're gonna do great. Hello? Hmm. A anyone? Hello? I hear somebody in peril. Hmm. hmm. I think it's in the basement. I'll go upstairs and check. Go upstairs to the basement and check? Mm-hmm. Okay. Makes sense if you think about it too hard. Well, it doesn't make any sense if I think about it at all. Hey, the deaf man heard that joke and he loved it. Are you being funny? The blind man loves this game. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> hey, look at that, it's the sword fighter! So there are a whole bunch of doors for each of the sparklers, of course. Okay. And every time we do the second one, their door unlocks. Ah. We'll save all the third acts for, well, you know, the towards the end of the game, so we can get a nice refresher. But for now, we have no choice. We are being forced into the third act for the sword fighter today. Interesting. Which is fine. I mean, show us how it works. Kind of highlight that <clears throat> this is important right here. Ring, this, ring. This, this here is important. Ding dong, ring, ring, honk, honk. Uh, I'd rather hit. the frame rates suffer here than in the game. Yep. When I'm trying to, you know, make cakes or whatever. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. I just love the little sprinkles we're getting as we're jumping between dimensions. Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, uh -huh. I think we're being invaded by an alternate dimension. This looks terrible. It does. Yeah. Slash everything. So these being the harder of the different transformations or Stellas that we have. Uh, how many sparkles do we have? We only have five gems this time around. Okay, so it's the least amount. Makes sense. Harder stage, less collectibles. Shorter stage, too. Okay, so that's... Yeah, that seems reasonable. 
Longer first act because we had to get, get to the whole Where's the sparkler? Mm -hmm. Transform! Whoa, you're saving us! And then seven gems for uh, the second act after that. And then only five for what is essentially the final battle. Exactly. And the conclusion of the play. And then they send you, like, millions of dudes to fight. Jeez, I didn't know these sour grapes were, uh, time eaters. They're ruining this entire place. Good lord. <laughs> Which dimension did they come from? J jerk dimension? <laughs> That'll show them. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. I, I know they didn't come from the <laughs> the cool guy dimension. <laughs> and if they complain, I'll just say, "Oh, jeez, who's being sour grapes around here?" <laughs> it, well, wait, was that it? Oh no, that was just for number three. Okay, <laughs> I thought they were actually going. You beat the stage. Here's three sparkle gems. Ding. That seems important. Why it is? Oh hey, I wonder if there's something in there. You might be right. Uh huh. Uh, yep, oh. there were hearts. Yeah, it's just hearts. Well, we could just skip whatever's in here. Oh, there! Oh my God! Help! I'm being crucified. Hmm. I will save you. This place is rigged to blow. It, ho. Hello, King. All right, bring it on, Dorko. That's not my name, it's Dirk. Uh-huh, Dorko. Wait, stop! It's not my name. God, she can jump high. Fuck out of here. Oh, it's like the bullies. I love it. With the power of spotlights in hand, I will destroy you. Oh, yep, shockwave. Classic. Shockwave, number two. Classic. Fuck out of here. I don't think he's very good at this. No, I don't think he is either. Are you saying this sour grape is not professionally trained in the blade? Not exactly. Well, crap. This might hurt. Never mind. Game's free. Nope, game's free. <laughs> and one more time for good measure. It game's free. And... Fuck out over there! I just realized either she has an official epe, or it's a play sword. <laughs> because it bends. <laughs> oh my god. It, you okay, buddy? Hello? The show must go on! Chin up! To arms! Yeah! Everybody in the studio audience just brings out their swords. <laughs> uh oh! Parry! Oh, nice. What a cowardly move indeed. And... Yeah! Oh! Okay, that was bitchin'. That was so good. And the crowd goes wild! Woo! Yes! Throw roses at the stage! They deserve them! Yeah! Woo! Oh god! Oh, it's just great! It's incredible! Yeah. Oh my god! Oh. Ooh, multicolor sword fighter ribbon. Dude. Nice. To be continued. To be continued, indeed. I mean, we got more. We got plenty more game left to go. Oh, I thought it meant for like the sword fighter play. To be continued. I thought we 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 won the show. Show's over, right? Well, that's the third act of the sword done at least. We've saved the sparkler, so hooray! Yay! Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty fucked up. Who would do that? <laughs> uh, my role of protecting other. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, we've gained an ally. Hooray. The bow. Excellent. Well, that was a fun distraction. Let's get back to the second floor now. And so they did.
Oh, wait. I... <laughs> we just have to go there ourselves. That's oh, right. man, they're going to make me walk the entire way. <laughs> In heels? I can't with this place. This place really needs an elevator. Oh, God. <laughs> It's an old-fashioned theater. <laughs> 150 seats, an elevator that holds one. Yeah, one of those seats could definitely be like, you know. Oh, maybe. I still love that our theater, just a couple towns over, you know, the seats were made for people with no ass. Mm -hmm. You know, made for people who were 5'4 at most. Now the door to the second boss is open. Have you come to die today? Nope, you have. Let's go! Peach, Peach starts cracking her knuckles. It's like, I'm ready. Are you ready? So how many does this one need? We will need 15. <laughs> I think we can spare that much. No, wait, wait. Our collection, no. That's fine, it's fine. Yeah, chump change. Just dole it out a little bit. Just think of it as just... The, those bougie star gems from Mario Galaxy. But they're it. like really high, high, high end. And not made of candy. Ta -da! Welcome to your doom. <laughs> Peach, welcome to die. I do like how the door was patient enough to wait for us to show up, though. That's very nice. <laughs> I know. You got the guys behind the door just going, Is she here? Is she here? Guys, she's coming up the first floor. Okay, thank you. Positions! Positions! Hey, it's the Sour Grape. Well, well, well. If it isn't the scary little rodents who have been scurrying to and fro about my theater. Aww. So what do you think of my productions? Have you been enjoying my terrifying show? Terrifying? That, that hmm. thing was too bad. Uh, uh, answer that later. A little bird told me that you two have been kicking up some dust. <laughs> it throws her... <laughs> Peach throws her pocket sand at Sour Grape. Oh! Ah! Oh! I also heard you managed to save a sparkler. I went to great pains to imprison. Oh, uh, look at that. She's ready. She's ready for a fight. <laughs> Pong! Ow! Ah! Yep, a brawl. Saving one puny sparkler doesn't change anything. <laughs> Are you gonna shoot me? <laughs> Sour grapes packing! <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a big old snack. A big old snack made of lights. Good lord, that's amazing. It's what? Light Fang! Light Fang? Is that a play on words? I know the other one was. Yeah, because he's a light, he has a fang, light fang. Yeah. Oh, think oh. like a Mega Man 2, Mega Man X boss, really. Oh, okay. Duh. Duh, 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 this is, duh, this duh, is a, uh, platformer kind of boss. Woo! Go around and just hit him like that, blind him. When that happens, he drops his core. Sparkle and light core. And then beat the crap out beat of his sparkle out core. Of core. Did you ever play, uh, Batman Arkham Asylum? Yes. This reminds me of the Scarecrow section. It most certainly does. I kind of like that. I was borrowing a friend's Xbox uh, when I was uh, playing Arkham Asylum for the first time. And I got to the Scarecrow part, and I immediately turned it off. What? what? Because I thought it read-read. <laughs> oh man! Oh. Only until years later, when I got the PS3 version, I realized, Oh, oh it's supposed it's to do that. It's messing with me. Ah, oh. crap. Oh, don't I feel silly. <laughs> you know, I never actually finished Arkham Asylum. I need to go back and do that. It's good. It's short. It's fine. It'll lose nothing. I really like what I played of it. I have an extremely bad habit of starting games and never finishing them. Maybe that's why I play games that have no real ending. At least nowadays, anyway. Well, do you play games that make you feel good? I mean, look at me. I'm, I still can't kick Street Fighter VI. <laughs> I think it has, like, a stranglehold on everything. You see, I thought the game was going to get crap when M. Bison showed up. He's like, okay, here we go. We're getting, like, here the, we go. Getting the angry chief characters. Yeah, yeah. I haven't fought a single M. Bison yet. Because everybody's, like, going all crazy about Akuma. I haven't even fought that many Akumas. Holy crap. Still like the usual. Like, I've, I've, I've still got, you know, some Guiles, Luris, and just the usual. Just the, just the usual. I think you haven't met any of those because it's obviously a game for filthy casuals, and uh, so, it, you know, dead game. 
It's gotta be it. I'm sorry. I, sorry to bring the truth into this. Anyway, Sparkle well, yeah, the Snake the Yeah, game. it is dead. I can't find any matches, which is why I'm playing <laughs> games like Princess Peach Showtime. <laughs> I went back to my Switch because Street Fighter sucks on other consoles. When's this coming to Evo, huh? <laughs> Dude, did you see that five that five point hit? Dude, the counter? Dude! <laughs> Peach at Evo, yeah! I can't wait to get the million dollar cup on this one. <laughs> light thing, more like light snack. <laughs> just a bad matchup, bro. Just a bad uh -huh. matchup. You counterpicked li for Light Fang? Are you mad? I mean, have you seen the tier list? <laughs> Peach is like a double S all the way. <laughs> yeah, that's right, girl. Oh, her name's Just Grave. Oh. I call her Madam Grape because that sounds like, you know... That actually, yeah, dignified. Like, Grape just sounds disrespectful, almost. I mean, you got Peach, Daisy, Grape. I mean, we're getting there. Well, that was exciting. Yeah. Next time on Princess Peach Showtime, we're heading up to the third floor for an all new set of plays and all new adventures and all new thrills. See you then. <laughs>